As the summer sun rises over the Himalayas and across Leh, the locals slowly ease into the day. Dogs in Leh have it made. They have packs of tourists that roam around, feeding them chocolate croissants for breakfast. If I came back as a street dog, Leh is where I'd want to be. As a result, Leh's puppy population is booming. There is a huge street dog population in Leh. While most of Leh's street dogs seem happy enough now, in this part of the world, man's best friend doesn't stay friendly for long. And in the winter months, there are no tourists, so there's no chocolate croissants. The ho most of the guest houses and hotels close down, so they're not cooking food and there's no waste there. So the dogs that are on the street in the winter are going to be very, very hungry and really probably quite aggressive. They go out hunting, they go, they'll attack um, the local stock, so um, that's obviously of you know, economic concern to the local farmers. Um, but also they, they are hungry and aggressive and they will attack each other and will attack humans, so obviously there's a risk. Most of the locals in Leh are Buddhist and don't believe in euthanizing even the most troublesome animals. The local hospital reports 15 dog bites a day, and that's even in summer. Um, the chemists literally run out of anti-rabies vaccines as quickly as they can get them in. The solution, to try to stop the dogs from breeding. Without animal birth control, the dogs will just breed and breed and breed until, to a point where there isn't enough food, and then they will become completely feral and start fighting each other. Australian surgeon Sarah Matthews and her partner Andy Grafton are leading a team of veterinary volunteers who work in Lay for four months each year. The bottom line is that we sterilise as many dogs as we can. It's no easy task. Each morning the municipal dog catchers head out to capture the day's patients. Today, the dog catching team arrives at the clinic in an unusual hurry. One of the dogs they've caught for desexing has given birth to two puppies while in transit. This would be the mum. One patient just a little too late for the team's sterilisation project. But there are many other dogs ready to be treated at the clinic. Okay, so this is a male adult dog and I'm about to castrate him. Um, so basically we've anaesthetised him, we put him onto fluids, so he's supported during surgery. I've just put a sterile drape over him and now I'm going to remove both his testicles. So far this summer the team has desexed over 700 dogs. The aim is to do 1,000 before the end of the season. But that's when the real problems begin. The volunteers come to Leh for four months each summer. At the moment, the local staff don't have the skills to keep the program running for the rest of the year. For the other eight months of the year, the government does nothing, but the dogs are still screwing. I would like the local government to take over what we do in the summer months, but to continue to do it, albeit at a, even if at a lower rate, during the winter. They just need to keep sending the dog catchers out, bringing the dogs in and sterilising them. The volunteers have tried to get the government to encourage local vets to take on the work for the rest of the year, but so far they've had little success. The idea was that this year is meant to be a transition year, so I come in as a reasonably qualified surgeon. Um, I do a lot of desexing myself, but I also train the local vets to do surgery. And you know, here I am two and a half months in, I've had one local vet attend on three days. While none of the local vets seem interested in carrying on the program, the local support staff couldn't be more enthusiastic. Yeshi Angmo is a lay local who's been working as an assistant at the clinic for the past six years, but her skills exceed those of your average vet nurse. I will learn for the vaccine, rabies and injections, and also um, I will do the surgery. This year she expressed an interest in, in desexing. Um, some dogs, so I offered to teach her um, how to desex a male dog, and she's now desexing three male dogs a day for me. She's slowly learning to do operations with a view to then maybe getting a qualification so that she can perform the surgeries herself, and that's, that's a great outcome for the local community.